in Bowling Green, Ohio. Fiance's hometown. Got the reindeer. Lionel with me. Knew nothing about this college town eight years ago, but now I've come here every Christmas and food scene kind of slaps. So we're gonna profile that. Okay, 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 okay. It's fun because you kind of you kind of adopt these hometowns. Like when you date somebody or you're engaged to somebody, their hometown becomes very much a part of yours. That's not true. It doesn't become a part of your hometown. <laughs> it becomes a part of your life. This is a spot that Allie has talked about forever. I've never been. Stimmel's family name. They closed for a little while, maybe during the pandemic, and everyone was like, please open back up. Now they're also known as the Sweet Stop, right next to Sunday Station, which is like the Bowling Green ice cream stand that Allie used to work at when she was in high school. The Sweet Stop. Okay, if you guys know me at all, I'm not a sweet boy. I'm a savory boy. And I've been trying to make. I gotta stop doing that. I told myself I was gonna stop doing that. I gotta stop doing that. Old, played out, not funny. Oh, that's a lot like me. They have donuts. They're known for sweets. Donuts, pastries, danishes. But they also have a deli counter, which when I was at my heaviest, when I was like 22 years old, I like graduated college. I gained the freshman 15, the sophomore 20, the junior 35. They used to call me the deli counter. Yeah. And then do you guys have like a deli counter too somewhere? That... We don't do deli anymore. Okay, I was just curious. We do breakfast pastries and sometimes we make bread and we almost did the deli. Gotcha. Okay, no problem. I was just curious. Yeah. Thank you guys. Have you awesome. Have a good one. It sounds like there was a change of ownership here. Also, imagine like. Hold on. Like imagine this is a neighborhood institution and like some random dude walking in there with the camera being like, is there a deli counter in here? And they're like, it's donuts, you dumbass. <laughs> the name is Dumas. Whatever there used to be. For Allie, she wanted either a cheese danish, a sprinkled donut, or maple whatever with cream, not custard. I dig this, it's like the Homer Simpson branding. Oh. 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 <laughs> Old fashioned is kind of their staple, the one that they hang their hat on. But hold on, this is what I'm gonna give Allie. She's gonna lose her friggin' mind. Look at this thing. Holiday AF, dude. She is the sprinkle donut queen. She'll put sprinkles on everything. And then I also got her a, which I don't know the terminology. She's like, you want a long john? I was like, what? I got a maple cream long john which I thought that was un long underwear. Before you go sledding, put on your long johns. Look at this bad boy. I eat donuts about psh, twice a year, and I'm not trying to be like, ooh, because I eat well. I don't eat healthy. I just, not a big sweets guy. I want to try all the best spots in Bowling Green. I'm going to be coming here for many years and have already been. So this week, I'm going to launch a bunch of Sean's first time eating spots in Bowling Green, and then also show you a couple of my favorites that I've been eating for eight years, that if for whatever reason you find yourself in Northwestern Ohio, south of Toledo, and you're like, hey, let's be honest, it's, it's Campus Poly Ice. Like, you're gonna wanna go to Campus Poly Ice. The stuffed breadsticks are, I think, currency here. I think you can pay with cash credit or just you can hand the cashier a couple Campus Poly Ice breadsticks and they will be complete. That, that's, that actually might be more, more valuable. You get it. Could you two just not talk anymore? Okay, old fashioned sour cream, which I'm not gonna lie, the first time I heard that term years ago, I was like, a what? Here we go. Holy sh I take a bite of a donut like this and I instantly know why people are addicted to sweets. If you can't stop eating stuff like this, I really feel you. That's insane. But I made one of the dumbest mistakes you can make by not getting a coffee. By not getting a coffee. Idiot. Moron. You know what? No. I'm not gonna. No. Life's too short. I'm not gonna eat. Why am I holding a lens? I am not going to eat the rest of this donut until I get a good coffee. That didn't really strike me as like a coffee first place. So I'm gonna get a coffee from somewhere that's supposed to have really good coffee and eat the rest of this donut. And then we'll finish this. And we'll get to soak in another Bowling Green staple. Hey. Hey, I want to get a coffee from somewhere really good to finish the rest of the donut that I got. Where should I get like a good coffee? 
I mean, grounds for thought. Okay, I'm gonna go to grounds for thought. I love filming here because everything is four minutes away from each other. Grounds for Thought is like this crazy bookstore coffee shop. We get this one coffee all the time that we bring back to Chicago. We've been doing that forever called Highland Grog. Great name, great coffee. I'll take you guys in there with me and we'll get some more looks from some more Ohioans. Why is that gentleman holding that camera at me? This is like the city center. Here's me running a yellow light. It's right there. Wow, there's a lot of people down here. Okay, grounds for thought. I'm heavy two coffees to go, 12 ounces. Can I do a breakfast blend and then a white Russian? Thank you so much. Yeah, not a problem. Just a Canon, 80D. AD, a what? ADD, just like a little DSLR camera. Yeah, I love this place. I always like come in here. I just love to like. Where are you, where are you from? I got Allie a breakfast blend. She wanted something lighter. I got a white Russian. This is just a black coffee, so it's not like it's a white Russian. But let's white Russian flavor profile is what? <laughs> Somebody, the third most searched thing is is a white Russian bad for you? <laughs> you know, I don't see what this has to do with. Uh... You have any cold? No, dude, keep sucking them down. So White Russians, vodka, coffee, liqueur, and cream. I'd imagine this will just kind of have a little bit of that sweeter kind of bean flavor. Damn, it got sunny, huh? Cheers. Their coffee's so good. Ooh, that's smooth. Why does that taste like, I think it's a placebo effect. It kind of tastes like vodka and coffee. <laughs> but this is why we do it. The bite. Oh my god. You want to chew like 70% of it? And then... Oh, uh, the coffee kind of combines with the donut. That experience for you, probably visually and audioly, a bummer. Fantastic for me. Old fashioned sour cream donut. And a white Russian grounds for thought coffee. Oh, this is heaven. You guys are seeing this after the fact, but it's still the holidays here. Hence why I'm home. What is it about calories the last week of the year that just don't count, huh? <laughs> you wake up January 1st and you're like, oh, I hate myself. If you didn't think I wasn't gonna do it, you're crazy. That's like the fat person's chips and salsa. This is just a top-notch moment. Appreciate it in life, dude. Allie brought her huge computer home, and she's like working all this week, and I just get to drive around and eat and film it. Hi, Lionel. You wanna go deliver these? Fresh coffee, fresh donuts. Oh my god, you're a hero. <laughs> Maple with cream. What a dream. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Red and green Christmas trees. Super exciting. So good. Wood County Public Library. This is Meg. How may I help you? Hi, Meg. My name's Sean. Um, I was just hoping if you guys had any more COVID tests, I was just trying to snag some for my family before I go home. Alrighty, are you currently at the curb outside um, our library? I'm right outside. I'm right outside, like grounds for thought. So I was just gonna drive over right now. Okay. So when you come to our building, you're gonna go um, to the back of the building. You're gonna go all the way up to the curb. You want to get as close as you can to that back entrance. And at the curb, you make your call and tell us what you need. Bowling Green Public Library has free COVID testing. Bunch of kits. They're this year's stocking stuffer, which is a sad but accurate thing to say out loud. Well, we got that taken care of. See you tomorrow for more food.